Hello and welcome friends. In this particular module, I wish to discuss about operation design and component detailing of fabric filtration. In this particular module, we will deal with air filtration introduction, important collection mechanisms, bag house, principle of working, types of bag house and their operation such as shake and deflate type, reverse air type, pulse jet, air to cloth ratio and pressure drop, choice of filter material and design of cleaning cycle. As you learn the content, you will be able to explain the principle of working of the bag house, also explain the type of bag houses and will be able to work out number of bags and design cleaning cycle for a bag house. This air filters is oldest and most widely used control method as far as particulate is concerned. In fabric filter, the flue gas is passed through a tightly woven or filtered fabric causing the particulate matter in the flue gas to be collected on the surface of the fabric or within the body of the fabric by sieving or other mechanisms. These fabric filters can be constructed of any material which are compatible with the carrier gas and the particulate matter. These fabric filters could be use and throw type or it also can be recyclable type. The various places where such kind of the fabric filters are employed can be certain residential applications like air conditioners. Here the dust load is quite light and deep beds are used. Say for example certain automobile applications one uses plated type of the air filters which can be further classified as high efficiency particulate air filters HEPA or ultra high efficiency particulate air filters as HEPA into bracket ULPA or also it can be cartridge type. Major applications could be industrial applications in which the cleanable air fabric filters are employed. According to the applications, the filters are manufactured in infinite varieties of the types, sizes, shapes, as well as materials, the way it is shown here in these sketches. You are already acquainted with gravity mechanism, centrifugal based mechanism, as well as even the inertia based mechanism in order to remove the particulate. You have also learnt about the basics of impaction, interception as well as the diffusion mechanisms for air filtration. As far as bag houses or the fabric filters are concerned, the particulate can be removed through the impaction mechanism. It can also be removed by making use of interception as well as diffusion mechanism. Impaction mechanism and interception mechanisms are useful for 
particles which are having size more than 1 micron. Whereas this diffusion mechanism is very helpful in order to remove the particles which are even in the range of 0 0.001 micron to 1 micron. Here, electrostatic suppression can also be an active mechanism in order to remove the particle. Usually, these fabric filters are referred as bag houses because the way you see here, certain house like assembly accommodates the assembly of these cylindrical parts. These parts could be 6 to 9 meter long and their diameter could be 12 to 30 centimeters. This group of the bags are placed in isolable compartments to allow the cleaning of the bags or say replacement of some of the bags without shutting down the entire bag house. These bag houses as far as particle control removal is concerned are among the most efficient particle control methods because on the previous slides you could see that the smallest size of the particle that could be removed could be even 0 0.001 micron. Also, this particular bag houses has got certain limitation such that it is not suitable for the part material which is absorbing certain humidity. Hence, the bag house is suitable where the waste gas is not harmful for filter material. Where there is a requirement of the high efficiency, the gas is quite above its dew point. The volume to be treated is not too much and the flue gas has the temperature within a such a range that it won't affect the working of this particular filter material. We can consider some basic design parameters as far as these bag houses are concerned, such as cleaning mechanism, size, pressure drop, the kind of the fabric and also the bag life. So as we move ahead, we will discuss each of these in order to understand it better. As we consider the basic operation associated with the bag house, that dirty gas is entering from one side and it is give, it is getting sealed, it is getting screened to the filter material and accordingly the particulate would be getting deposited on the surface of that particular filter. Depending on the voids that are present over the surface, Certain coarser materials which are unable to pass through that particular fabric would be deposited on that the surface. Hence, the deposited layer of that coarser materials would be acting further as filter material and the particulate which are smaller than that coarser particles would be screened and this particular process would be continued till the extent of the finer would be deposited in such a manner that they won't be allowing further particulate and hence the gases flow to move through that particular filter. That means it would be providing the maximum resistance to that particular flow and that is the time at which that filter needs to be cleaned. So, for such kind of the 
field us, we expect this particular probe velocity to be very low. In order to remove the filter cake that is deposited, one can make use of certain continuous mechanisms or certain periodic mechanisms. If the operation is continuous, it can be simultaneously done. If the operation of the cleaning is expected to be periodic, it needs the shutdown of the plot. This cleaning intensity and the frequency are very important variables in determining the removal efficiency because this dust cake can affect the fine particulate removal capability of the fabric as we discussed initially. This cleaning procedures which could be too frequent or which could be too intense will also lower the removal efficiency of the fabric filter. On the other hand, if the cleaning frequency is too infrequent or too in ineffective, here the backhouse pressure drop will become too high and hence this filtration mechanism won't be taking place effectively. One of the cleaning mechanisms is employing certain sonic horns. So this sonic horns use certain compressed air to vibrate the metal diaphragms producing some low frequency sound wave which has capability to break the filter cake that is deposited on that particular surface. Typically, 1 to 4 horns per compartment operating at 150 to 200 hertz are employed. In addition to this kind of sonic horns, which are usually regulated through certain digital means, one can make use of shake deflect, reverse air or pulse jet type mechanisms in order to remove the dust which is deposited over the fabric paper. So this is typical bag house. As you see here, there is gas inlet. Just opposite to it, there is a provision of the baffle plate. Here, the waste gas, dirty gas, enters through this inlet. The coarser particle will be simply getting removed as they impact over this particular baffle plate. Whereas, the remaining dusty air will be entering through this bottom of the box which are resting over these particular cell plates. So as the waste gas enters through these filter baths, they would be passing through the entire depth of that particular box and accordingly the dust would be getting deposited over the inner surface whereas clean air would be getting out of this particular system. As such, this clean, clean gas will be getting out through this outlet. The assembly of these filter bags is tied to this shaker bar. So with a certain frequency as this shaker bar is shaken accordingly it will give small shocks to these suspended bags and accordingly the material that is deposited within the length of this bag and over the inner surface of that particular bag would be broken and it will be simply dropping down in order to get it collected through these hoppers. So this is mechanical shake and different type mechanism in order to clean this box.
another kind of the bag house is based on reverse flow so the way you see here in this particular type of bag house the dirty gas is entering through the bags the way we discussed on the previous slide however as the dust cake is formed over the inner surface and as the pressure drop is increased under that particular circumstances here the dirty gas entry is stopped and the the flow which is entering within is simply reversed so that the cake which is formed over the inner surface will be simply broken and it will be just dropped down in order to remove through this hopper as the reverse flow enters within the bags which are suspended would be partially collapsed so in order to avoid the total collapse of that particular box these bags are reinforced by making use of steel cages here as we consider the deflated mechanical type of cleaning and this reverse flow bag house cleanings the space requirement is almost comparable with each other the third category is pulse jet bag house here the way bags are suspended is slightly different the way you see here there is a provision of certain sulfate here the articles as are deposited over this particular surface are removed by making use of pulse of clean air which is allowed to enter through this particular feeder further the velocity of that particular entering gas is enhanced by making use of venturi so that here the cleaning would be facilitated simultaneously here this continuous cleaning feature allows this kind of the bag house to operate at high air to cloth ratio hence as compared to earlier two bag houses the space requirement is small the next design parameter is air to cloth ratio the air flow which is entering within that individual bags is treated with filter or phase velocity it is expressed in cubic feet per minute which is divided by the total square footage of that particular filter material in all the bags that are put in service to calculate air to cloth ratio for that particular dust collector generally higher the air flow and the dust concentration more the filter material will be required hence for higher volumes of the air flow and the dust the air to cloth ratio will be less there is a need to have this air to cloth ratio maintained at right level here if the ratio is too high it can cause the filter to quickly become overloaded on the contrary here if the ratio becomes too low or there is too much filter area it would 
hamper the efficiency of that bag house considerably typically this a to c ratio could be 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 12 depending on the kind of the cleaning mechanism and the particle size that needs to be removed for shaker and reverse air bag houses this a to c ratio is in the range of 2 to 2.5 cubic feet per minute per square feet whereas for pulse shed bag houses it could be 3 to 10. As we tried to mention on the earlier slide this air to sea ratio needs to be maintained at correct level. It extends filter life and hence, therefore, avoids the frequent change outs of that particular parts. It also minimizes the operating costs because the way we discussed earlier, if the air to say ratio, if it is too high or too low, it may cause the reduction in the efficiency as well as it may cause the overload, it may deflect the bags with undue pressures and hence the need of the maintenance will be high. As such, this is important even as far as operating costs are concerned. As we consider the particulate mechanism, particulate separation mechanism, it can be very helpful in order to meet with the air quality goals and the requirements if A to C ratio is properly maintained. As we maintain this A to C ratio properly, the system that we wish to deal with would be working in healthy manner and it would perform at its peak efficiency. However, if it is not maintained to the correct order, there will be poor venting, hence there will be damage to the equipment. It would cause the higher pressure drops. Also, it will impact the air velocity there would be need of excessive use of the compressed air in order to have to deal with say the resistance offered by the cake as well as the filter material as well as need of the highly compressed air in order to have the cake removed. As we consider such kind of the bag house. Here, the waste gas is entering the way we discussed through this inlet. So, we can consider another term expressed as can velocity. As we consider the total volume of the air in actual cubic feet per minute, divided by the length and breadth that is the area of the bag house and as we deduct the area occupied by bottom of that particular box it would be giving the net area that is available for the movement of that air stream. So, this is expressed as Vc which is nothing but can velocity. So, having understood how the mechanisms are employed for cleaning of the baths, we will just have small comparison among the cleaning mechanisms. So, for shaker bag houses, the filtering velocity ranges 
between 1.02 to 3.05 cm per second. The reverse air cleaning bag houses generally have very low air to close ratios 0.5 to 2.04 cm per second. More cloth is generally needed for given flow rate in the case of reverse air cleaning bag houses than the shaker bag houses because it has got low air cloth ratios. Hence, naturally reverse air bag houses will be tending to be larger in sizes as compared to the shaker bag houses. The pulse jet bag houses are designed with very high velocity as compared to shaker as well as the reverse and the range is 1 to 7.5 cm per second as it can handle high volume of the air as compared to both these bag houses. Pulse jet bag houses would be consuming more space and hence it would be beneficial if there is a constant of the area. Another design parameter is pressure drop. This pressure drop of the system is determined by measuring the difference in total pressure at inlet and outlet and usually expressed in terms of millimeter of the mercury or inches of the water. This is very important design parable variable because it describes the resistance to air flow across the bag houses. Higher the pressure drop, higher the resistance to air flow as we discussed on earlier slides. This total system pressure drop can be related to the size of the fan that would be necessary to either push or pull the exhaust gas while cleaning it or while removing the cake of the dust that is formed over that particular box. A baghouse with a high pressure drop would need more energy and also the larger fans to remove the exhaust gas through these baghouses. In a baghouse, the total pressure drop is a function of pressure drop across the filter material as well as the cake of the dust that is formed over that particular material. Also, some pressure losses due to the friction also occur as the gas stream moves through the bag house which accommodates the number of the bags. This pressure drop due to the filter and the dust cake is expressed by making use of this particular expression. So the pressure drop across a filter which is nothing but delta Pf is given as K1 to K1 into Vf. Here this delta Pf is the pressure drop across the cleaning fabric. K1 gives the pressure drop occurring per unit velocity which is nothing but the fabric resistance. Vf is the filtration velocity. Whereas the pressure drop across the deposited dust cake is expressed by making use of expression K2 into Ci into Vf square into T. The terms that are included in this particular expression are elaborated here. For the dust cake resistance coefficient, there is a need to have its determination experimentally. This parameter depends on the gas viscosity, filtration velocity, particle size, density and also the dust porosity. The dust porosity is the amount of void value in the dust cake. The porosity is related to the permeability. Permeability is for this fabric 
is defined by American Society of Testing Material Standard as the value of the air which can be passed through one square foot of the filter medium with pressure drop of not more than 0.5 inches of the water. If the particles are very small, say less than 2 micron, K2 is very high. If the K2 is high, the pressure drop tend to increase and hence there will be need of frequent cleanings. The total pressure drop is expressed as delta Pt and it is sum of the pressure drop across the filter and across the dust cake that is formed and hence the sum of the two expressions that we discussed on previous slide. The choice of the filter material is also one of the important criteria. As we consider the mechanical deflate type or as we consider the reverse flow type, also the pulse jet type, the type of fabric that will be required would be different. Furthermore, as we consider the filter material, say for example, if we consider the cotton to be the filter material, it could be very cheap as compared to say glass fiber type. So accordingly, the cost of filter material would also be the one of the factors as far as choice of the filter material is concerned. The filter material is subjected to the abrasive as well as corrosive action of both particulate matter as well as also the carrier gas. Hence, the physical as well as chemical characteristic of particulate matter as well as the carrier gas should be taken into account. The material that we are going to choose in order to construct the filter box may start with different temperature ranges. Say for example, these polyolefins, nylons, acrylics, polyesters can withstand relatively low temperature of 95 to 150 degrees centigrade. Whereas, if we have to go for certain higher thermal temperature ranges, we have to go for more stable fabric such as fiberglass, teflon, normex, etc. Also, the kind of material and its view would classify the kind of the filter. Broadly, we can consider two types. One is surface filters and depth filters. Just to get introduced, the surface filters keep all particles at the filter surface and depth filters capture the particles throughout the body of that particular filter material. Hence, the surface filters can be made from the materials like steel, fabric, wire cage, filter paper, etc. As we discussed on the initial slides, the dirty air will be entering through the filters and it will be forming the cake. In turn, that cake itself will be acting as filter material. Hence, the surface filters act with the principle of the cake formation. As that particular cake is removed, the filter material would be clean and it can be resubjected for the cleaning operation. Whereas these depth materials are made from materials like felt, the materials are captured in the porous structure of that particular material. As the material is captured through this particular porous structure, the particulates are embedded throughout that particular material and hence it becomes highly difficult to clean 
that particular voice. As the cleaning mechanism is highly difficult, the depth filters could be providing very high efficiencies, but the reuse of the same is not possible. The same thing is shown here. For the depth filters, there is no cake formation. The particulate are collected and getting embedded throughout the entire body. They could be made up of cellulose, glass wool, glass fiber mixtures with resin or acrylic binders. The mechanisms could be interception, sedimentation, impaction, diffusion, as well as electrostatic attraction. The commercially available products in the form of cartridges or pleated type are shown here. On the contrary, the surface filters are very easy to see as well as understand. The way you see here, the surface filters are in the form of bars, which are hung or supporting on the cell plate or that shaker bar. So, here it will be providing only the surface in order to cast the material. In turn, it will be forming the cake. Some of the materials may get penetrated, but here the extent would be very small. Some of the filter material properties can be seen here. There is a range of cotton, wool, nylon and the materials that are listed here. As you see here, their operating temperature is different. The chemical resistance to acid as well as the base is also different. Their abrasion resistance is individually different and the cost aspect would also be different. So, each kind of the material would be having certain specific application and accordingly one must go for. Also, the way the bag house is using the material may be in the form of cotton, nylon, or glass fibers, teflon kind of. So, accordingly, the kind of the particle size range it can handle, the way it can provide the removal efficiency, the space requirement and such aspect would also be different. So, let's try to understand the kind of the principles that we discussed by solving some of the numericals. So, for the given data, here, the filter bag diameter is 0.3 meter. The length is 6 meters. It is expected to control the flow of 21 cubic meter per second. And for air flow to ratio of 3 CFM to square feet, the number of bags to be calculated. So, as we go for basic expression of air to cloth, the quantity of air would be 21 cubic meter per second. The quantity of the cloth would be equal to the pi d l into that number of bags will be the total cloth area as A by C ratio is given to be 3 and through proper units it can be worked out as 0 0.015 meter per second the number of bags works out to be 245. We have discussed about the cleaning cycle. So once the individual compartment has fulfilled the requirement of filtration, it won't further 
provide the cloth area in order to have the filtration and hence it would provide the maximum resistance and at that point the compartment needs to be separated and needs to be cleaned. So this needs to be done in specific order and that is nothing but cleaning cycle. So let's assume that there are some nine compartments for a certain mechanical bag house. Say this C1 is just cleaned and immediately put back to service and now that C2 is in line for cleaning. Let TR be the run time which is the time from when C1 is put into the service and C2 is isolated for cleaning. Let TC be the cleaning time. Hence, this TR plus TC is expressed as run clean time of the cycle. So, if there are n compartments, total length of run clean time will be n times TR plus TC. Let TF be, be, be the total filtration time of C1 before it is cleaned again. So, for a time that is n times TR plus TC minus TC, the compartment will be subjected for the filtration. Here, the cleaning time could be typically considered to be 1 to 5 minutes. As we considered these particular 9 compartments and as we wish to have one compartment isolated after other so that the remaining 8 compartments will be providing design cloth area and hence it would assist to achieve the desired efficiency. As such, this A to C ratio is highest, has to be highest during the cleaning and should be based on N minus 1 compartments. Also, this particular number of the compartments can be worked out in relation with the filter area that we are providing. So say for example, if we are providing 200 square meter of the filter area, we can go for say 1 to 2 compartments and accordingly. Let's assume that the way we solve our first problem, the number of the bags that are worked out are 248 and with the diameter of this 0.3 meter, its length as 6 meters, the net area provided is 1401.7 square meters. So, as we considered this particular table for this particular range, we can go for 8 to 10 compartments. So, let's assume that we will have these particular 9 compartments. Hence, we how to maintain these particular design con conditions all the time these 248 bags should be always in use hence the number of compartment per sorry number of bags per compartment would be 248 by 9 minus 1 hence it is 31 so this run time is assumed to be 9 minutes the cleaning time is assumed to be 3 minutes. Hence, the total filtration time for compartment would be 105 minutes. So, thanks for your attention. I hope the concepts that we try to discuss here are clear to you. We will discuss the operation and design of electrostatic precipitator in our next presentation. So, by till then, I wish you 
वेरी हैप्पी लर्निंग थैंक यू